Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fragrant Bunker. It's always somebody's birthday, you know. Uh, I'm dressed quite festive today because as I'm filming this video, it's Coco's birthday, Coco Chanel's birthday, 19th of, of June, <laughs> of August, 1883. So I, it kind of made me think, hey, what would be the top 10 perfume, uh, top 10 birthday perfumes? Now, when I say top 10 birthday perfumes, I don't just mean if it's your birthday, these are like, this is the list of perfumes I think you should wear. But I also want to add to that list, like if you are invited to a birthday, what would you wear to that birthday party? If you were not invited to the birthday that you were expecting to be invited to, what would you wear then? Would you have a revenge party the same day of the birthday party that you were not invited to? Uh, would you wear a perfume in memory of somebody's birthday? This and much more is the concept that I was kind of envisioning for top 10 birthday perfumes. So let's get to the list. Uh, subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, push uh, the join button is on the main channel. Actually, you can join me on Patreon. Super Deca all spelled together for uh, extra perks. Thank you to my patrons. I've already pledged. This video is being filmed live in front of a live virtual audience. So I have my wonderful co chatters on the sidebar. Let's see if people manage to guess the birthday perfumes. But also, you guys can uh, try to, you know, guess in the comment section down below if you're watching this video later, or just let me know your favorite birthday themed or birthday perfumes down below. So the first one, and this is because uh, it is Chanel's birthday today, and uh, I have decided for myself that on Chanel's birthday this year, I will be wearing a special perfume to homage her. And every year it's kind of different in a weird way, but this year I really, really am feeling gardenia. So Chanel's Gardenia, no matter what concentration you have, I prefer the Eau de Parfum, also the Extrait, but if you have the Eau de Toilette, also amazing. I just love, love, love the EDP, which we're going to just spray a little, spritz a little on the chest area. Mm. I, so today I've been wearing Gardenia and, uh, well, you know, not just in memory of Coco Chanel, but this is an example of a perfume to wear during the birthday of a person that might no longer be with us, but you're you're wearing it in memory of that person. I'm not saying that this was her favorite per perfume, not by any means, but <clears throat> when I wear Gardenia, I feel lighthearted, happy. There's a heft to this perfume. Chanel really knows how to balance well and round very nicely floral accords with aldehydes and um, like... Uh, almost a lotion-y, coconut -y vibe to it, but white floral. So it is a ceremonial and celebratory perfume. In fact, a lot of people wear this or purchase Gardenia the Extreme mostly for their wedding. Uh, Gardenia is also kind of famous as a wedding perfume. But I don't know why this year I am connecting Gardenia with Coco. I feel like... It's been a really difficult year. It's been a tough year and thus far, and it's not over yet. So choosing a perfume for Coco's birthday this year, I really felt like I needed something that lifts the spirit. You know, I could have gone with Chanel number no. 19, but that that's that's a little that's a hardened lady. That's a lady that's kind of like more like sophisticated in a more dry way, a little bit detached. Most Chanel perfumes are a little bit detached, but I wanted something a little bit more present, a little bit more happy and slightly more lighthearted for this year's birthday because Coco knows I need it. So Gardenia is our number one. Hmm. Number two, playful birthday. Either you're going to a birthday party and you want to be the talk of the town or you want to gift it as a birthday present. Now, I know that most of the time, and this is practice what you preach, Jacob, I say don't gift a perfume 
if you don't know that the person likes that perfume. You know, if your friend, family member, lover, whatever, uh, friend, colleague tells you, I really like a certain perfume, hint, hint, my birthday's coming up and, you know, and you got the budget, then you buy the perfume. That's okay. But if they don't give any hints and you still want to buy a perfume, but you don't want to make a mistake, there's one perfume that I would recommend, not necessarily because of the smell, but because of the whimsy that goes with it. It's a conversation starter. It's cute also as a sculptural object to gift, and it's playful in a good way. So number two, for the sake of gifting a birthday present, definitely Cheap and Chic by Moschino. Now, Listen, you don't have to, I, I love this perfume. You don't have to gift it if, if you're not feeling it. Um, you know, it's not a perfume that smells good to everybody. It has cyclamen in it. Cyclamens are all similar to gardenias. <sighs> you know, a gardenia cannot really be synthesized. So you have to create other notes to make it smell like gardenia, um, to mimic the smell of gardenia. Cyclamen is a little bit similar. It's a very synthetic smell. It's kind of hard to get a cyclamen to really smell like wild cyclamens in nature, which I adore, my favorite flower. Nevertheless, cheap and chic comes close. Plus, it's part of the cheapy family nowadays. You can get it for a relatively good price. But to get Popeye's uh, girlfriend slash wife, we don't really know if they get hitched in the end, olive oil in a shape of a bottle, one of uh, Franco Moschino's last designs before he passed away. I think this is really, really beautiful, very whimsical and fun and playful to have this. And yes, it is a perfume bottle and you take olive oil's head off and you have this gorgeous little cyclamen, musky, uh, sandalwoody accord in here that opens up with citruses, but then goes into a floral garden. It's a complex perfume, not easy to love, granted, but funny enough to gift for a birthday. I think it's really beautiful also to just see it standing around there. Look at my little green apartment here. Look how cute this bottle looks in this environment with the green. It's really, really, really nice. So I would, that would be my number two. Number three is um, kind of entering in a in a territory of you're, you've not been invited to the birthday party and uh, <laughs> you're having your own, you know, instead, because, yeah, it's the revenge party. So you're not invited to a birthday party and you have your own party. Now, there's two possibilities here. Your own party at your place or you decide to crash the birthday party. So you end up going anyway, even though you were not invited, you end up going anyway. I got two versions. Let's see the first one. You're doing your own party. And when I say the revenge party, I am thinking Lady Diana's revenge dress after uh, the, the separation with, with Char back then Prince Charles, now King. Um, that revenge dress that Lady Diana was wearing, I'm seeing that for a perfume, okay? Okay. The revenge part the revenge birthday party perfume would be hypnotic poison, darling. Ah! Okay. And all the people you invited, everybody's a little bit of an outsider. None of them were invited to the main event. They were all invited to your party. So you're all outsiders. You're all the hot topic emo kid, okay, you're wearing hypnotic poison because for your guests, you want all of the guests, all of them to remember you and you want to be the talk of the town the next day when everybody meets up and talks about the other birthday party you were not invited to. They want, you want them to talk about you and your party instead. And the perfume that helps you with that is this intoxicating hypnotic poison concoction uh, with bitter almonds and an overdose of vanilla. The bitter is the key word here. Yes, you are bitter that they didn't invite you, but you did your own version and you hypnotized all your guests and everybody can only talk about your party the next day. And uh, 
<laughs> Somebody in the chat said, Revenge Perfume, Revenge Poison. That could be a good name for a new poison perfume. You're welcome, Dior, for this idea. Now, if you decide, on the other hand, to crash the party, and you want to go to the birthday party you were not invited to, and you want to go anyway, because you think to yourself, how dare that be not invite me, um, I'm going to show her, or I'm going to show him, or I'm going to show them. And you're going to, you're going to turn yourself mentally into a pin up. Okay. You're going to go full on burlesque on their butts. When you arrive, you're going to flirt with everyone. And especially with the boyfriend or girlfriend or wife or husband of the person whose birthday it is and who did not invite you to the birthday. So what you're going to wear is a symbol. It's a token of your non-appreciation of them, but your appreciation of that special someone who either they fancy and is also present there and you're going to snatch them away from them or, or they're together with them. Now, let me see. Anybody guess? Nobody guessed. Nobody guessed. This is the magical potion that I would recommend you to wear. It's a bit difficult to find, but then again, it's also hard to find the courage to crash a birthday party if you weren't invited. This is Dita Fontis. It's her uh, ominous perfume. It's the Dita Fontis perfume. Jesus is asking, erotic. No, no, it's not erotic. It's Dita Fontis. It's the first perfume. She created several. One of them was erotique, but this is the first one. It's Dita Fontis in the smaller bottle. There was also a bigger bottle with a, with a spray pump. But this is a tuberose fragrance. Kind of in the vein of fracas but different okay of course it's 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 a cheapy now it's been discontinued unfortunately it goes for pretty penny nowadays but uh oh this one is worth spraying honey for all the times i have not been invited because i was that outside a weirdo kid in honor of me i'ma spray it oh my gosh <laughs> okay let me tell you Yes, this gives you the tingly sensation. You put this on, you know what I mean? And maybe you've also had a little bit of champagne at home. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> and then you're like, tassel ready, you're ready. And you're like, uh, you know what? I'm going to show them. I'm going to show up anyway. And you're a little bit wobbly and you arrive. And as you arrive and you are go just makeup go just go just vibes tight outfit you're showing all the curves and you're wearing dita fontis it's a it's a it's a cheap synthetic tuberose but that's what you is you got to be a little cheap you know what i mean to go to somebody's birthday party you weren't invited to and flirt with everyone there just to show them <laughs> <laughs> That's this, literally. Be your own burlesque star at somebody else's birthday party. There you go. So that's that's my number four. I think it's a gorgeous one. And it's very rarely in my lists, but I think it's kind of, it deserves, it deserves, it deserves a special non-invitation birthday entry to the perfume hall of fame in the, in the fragrant bunker. Now, the next one is kind of the guy... Or the girl, doesn't matter. It's the person that... It's their birthday. And they're wearing this perfume. But they... You know, they're humble. Okay? This is the type of person that's going to wear a, birth, uh, a perfume on the day of their birthday. And it's not necessarily a birthday party. It's like, you know who remembers will call me. And if anybody does remember for my friends that live in my city, I'll just tell them, like, if you call me on the, on the day, like, oh, hey, happy birthday. I can say, oh, cool. Do you know this? I'm doing some, getting some drinks with friends at the bar. Want to join? Just to have a little cool, like easy chill, you know, daddy chill, you know, daddy chill. 
Daddy Chill. Daddy Chill. Well, the Daddy Chill perfume vibe definitely goes without, like, questions. Is the Dolce Gabbana pour homme. This is a current formulation, okay? Uh, Dolce Gabbana have retaken, reclaimed their own perfumes, beauty cosmetics, and they are now manufacturing their own perfume. So it's not uh, Beauté Prestige anymore. It's not Shiseido, but it is Dolce Gabbana themselves. So this baby is made in Italy again. It's not Euro Italia. Don't get confused. Let's spritz a little bit. Next to Dita Fontese. I love it. It's, it's different from the OG. It's not the 90s version, okay? It's a little bit more citrusy, a little bit more Play-Doh-y, synthetic, blah, blah, blah. But the dry down is still lovely. It doesn't last much on the skin, but for whatever it's worth, it lasts those couple of hours, and then it fades into that, let's go to the pub together and get knackered. Uh, that is Dolce Gabbana pour homme, and I think it's such a chill vibe. It's the guy who drank a beer with you celebrate the birthday and maybe a little walk of shame after that you know that's your birthday present you wear this and you pick up someone at the bed <laughs> well that was my number five number six i mean this is for the birthday kids that celebrate in summer whether you are the birthday child or you are invited to a birthday party, and it is, uh, who doesn't remember being invited to birthday parties in summer? Usually outdoors, patio or little garden, beautiful table, wooden table or whatever, plastic table, doesn't matter, set up underneath a tree, underneath a willow tree, somewhere in the garden. Oh. And then there's like drinks are being served. The hors d'oeuvres, darling. A little knickknack, sweetie darling. Little snacks, little nibbles, sweetie darling. And the children playing in the backyard and just in the distance. A little picket fence or something. A little something, something. Everybody's dressed in white linen. Little umbrellas to protect from the sun. Little shade, darling. A little something, something. Well, that type of dreamy vibe of otherworldly times just kind of... A lazy afternoon celebrating someone's birthday, whether it be yours or someone else's. I highly, especially in nature, I highly recommend. Bel Respiro. I adore Bel Respiro. I believe that Chanel really nailed it with this one. It's one of those Chanel Les Exclusives perfumes. Super underrated. Almost nobody talks about it. Almost nobody buys it. It's a masterpiece, especially in the current formulation. I have batch code 7401. Yes, they went up in price yet again. Chanel, what are you doing to us? But yeah, I, I, I will always repurchase Bel Respiro if they don't butcher it. Um, Bel Respiro, it is a summery green, like suede leathery accord. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Very modern smelling green fragrance. We'll go, we'll go. Just a little bit. Oh my gosh. It, it, it's, it cuts a little. It's a little slightly screechy. It's an aldehydic, freshly mowed grass in summer. And you sprinkle water all over it. And then from the sun heat, it evaporates. And it smells really intense of grass. And beautiful leather accord in there and a hint of hay and oh resins oh my gosh what a beauty beautiful birthday present uh birthday present yes you can gift it to me for my birthday thank you very much but it's also a beautiful perfume to wear whether it be your birthday or somebody else's birthday especially in summer live in ferret now that was my four five number sock Number seven, like totally. Number seven. You are invited to the birthday. You're not crashing the birthday. Bush. Bush, the Irish bud. Cha. <laughs> canceled. Hashtag canceled. Uh, Bush, uh, you are also... Um, maybe a little bit envious of the person whose birthday party you're going to, 
or they've done something to you in the past and they think they can get away with it. And it's like, you know, it's all cool. We're all cool. Like they think that you're the dummy that you never realized what they did to you, but you know, you've always known, you've always known. So now you're coming to that birthday present and you are ready a birthday present to that birthday party. And you are ready to show them what you got that you better than what they thought. You're like, I am better. So you zoom better, zoom better. And as you're showing them to zoom better, you snatch their fiance. <laughs> Just like Ariana Grande did with SpongeBob. You pull an Ariana Grande on them and, and you wear a little teasy wheezy meezy and you wear fleur burlesque to that birthday party. Honey, you are the funniest, easy, most easygoing and flirtatious person at that party. You will be, you will be the one they will all remember when they think about a little, little satin satin. Hmm. You know, the musks in here, the white floral accords, the resins, beautiful. It is Fleur Burlesque Eau de Parfum by Wilhelm Parfumerie. Pierre Dinon designed the bottle, the same dude who designed this bottle as well in the 90s, the Dolce Gabbana pour Homme. And Fleur Burlesque, whoop, all big and round, all flat and sound, is a gorgeous little flirtatious perfume, super warm. Super bizet, bizet, white floral. And the surface, innocent, you know, innocent, inoffensive, but deep down inside, you know what they did to you and you are ready to harness the power of revenge at a birthday. <laughs> now, coincidentally, you can also wear this if you don't have revenge against the person you're invited to, but you just are in a flirtatious mode. You're loving the person who invited you to the birthday party, but you're just, you're single, ready to mingle, and you kind of, maybe you think, hey, I might pick up somebody at this party. That's what you wear, darling. That was number seven, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Number eight. Number eight is, well... Do you know, like at every birthday party, there is that one person that feels a little out of touch with the times. I'm not saying it's like when you go to a wedding and there's always somebody's aunt or uncle who get embarrassingly drunk and do really weird stuff and they're, they're wearing really weird clothes and you ask yourself, how do we even forget they were in the family? I'm not talking about those peeps. I'm talking about kind of the stranger, like somebody who has been invited to the party, but you're like, I don't remember this person <laughs> from, <laughs> like, who is this person? Why are they invited? So it's that one person at the party, we're talking bigger parties, right? Not a, lot of, not, not a party where like you invite only five friends. We're talking bigger parties, bigger birthday parties. There's always that one person people end up talking about and everybody ends up saying, do you know who they are? Who invited them? Well, obviously we know who invited them. Like, why did they, why were they invited? Like, who are they? Not in a bad way, like who do they think they are? But just like, there's always that one person everybody asks at a bigger party, have you ever seen them before? No. IYK, YK. That type of personality, I envision, oh, and by the way, it happened to, So cringe. It happened to me once. Okay, we'll go, we'll go. I I was that person once at one of these parties because I've been gone for so long from one of the many places that I've lived in. Anyway, and I came back, I was invited, and the person who invited me was like, oh my God, a long time no see. Kissy, kissy. And I was like, yeah, it's party, party. And then like, I'm noticing like all these people like looking at me like, um, who is he? And I was like, oh my God. I am that person that nobody recognizes, nobody remembers. I was like, so sad. It was so cringe. But at the same time, I was like, we'll go, we'll go. You know what? I'm going to own this. I'm still going to own it. And I'm going to turn this to my favor. <laughs> it worked out terribly. I just got really drunk and called it a night. But I did wear this perfume at that party, coincidentally. So that's why it, rem it remained kind of ingrained in my head. And I always envisioned this to be the perfume of the person who came to the wrong party, basically. And I have a special prestige version of it. I do have here Le Mal by Jean-Paul Gaultier. 
and it is in its first ever iteration from the 90s. It came out in a special luxury edition with a pump. This is called the uh, Le Mal Prestige. Isn't this thing gorgeous? Oh my God, the smell of it. Divine Lavender Concoction by Francis Kurjan, uh, his first perfume actually ever. And this was the luxury edition of Le Mal that came out in the 90s. The tets are a little bit scratched up. I would have to clean these little nipplets off. But um, yeah, this is the pump spray. It's empty now, but it still smells divine. And uh, sad thing, this one uh, was stored upside down. It all it completely leaked because these pump sprays are terrible. You know that in order for them to work, the actual bottle needs to have a separate little hole underneath there for the air to kind of keep filtering through. So actually the perfume evaporates from there. Uh, and if you tilt the bottle, it's gonna leak. It's a, it's a total mess. It's really, really dangerous to have pump perfumes if you don't want them to evaporate or leak. So this one kind of leaked out. Anyway, I still have the lid and I, I do still have the bottom part, but it's completely sticky with the perfume. I'm gonna try to clean it off. But anyway, you guys, uh, the beautiful thing about Le Mal is that it is a perfume from the 90s and it is a little bit out of place today. I still love it to bits. I adore Le Mal, even in its current formulation, which is relatively close to this. Although, when I smell this, on another level, uh, the original formula. But it's a beautiful perfume and it is a lavender fougere with vanilla, with a kick. And... Nothing really smells like it today. So if you were to wear this to a birthday party, you would be that person that's out of place. You're a little bit too screechy. You're a little bit too loud. This perfume is very much like a cliche of a fragrance in many ways. I-Y-K-Y-K. -Y -K. And you would be that person that kind of... You're... You're... You know what I mean? Like you want to belong, but you don't. Now, in the 90s, you would have belonged with this one. Nowadays, people would smell and be like, oh, that smells like something from 30 years ago, club era. But I want to give back Le Mal its glory and respectability. You know what I mean? Because it deserves it. It deserves it. But yes, this is the out of place birthday party goer, Le Mal. Still, a heck of a flirt. Super funny once they open up and once they give you a little bit of something, some, you know, if you give them a chance, they can be very entertaining and fun, flirtatious, playful. It can go really, really well with you and them. You know what I mean? It's that person that might be out of place at the birthday party. But if you give them a chance, they might just give you that space and place. And you might just be the lucky one who ends up doing that walk of shame the next morning. I-Y-K-Y-K. -Y -K. Now, the next one, number nine, uh, is uh, for the prim and proper birthday goer. Okay, this is that person that always arrives with some food. They don't come empty handed. Yes, they come with a gift. They come bearing gifts for the birthday party and the uh, birthday celebrate, but they also bring drinks. They bring food, they bring a homemade salad, they bring homemade biscuits uh, because they know that you're going to have a cake. So they're not going to try to outdo your cake. It's that person that knows their place, but really wants to contribute to the party, to the well-being of everybody at the party. They arrive, they're very organized, they never get drunk, they leave at a decent hour, they're not the last to leave the party, you don't have to kick them out after the party's over, the party, and they they clean up after themselves, they don't leave your bathroom a mess. This is the birth, this is the perfume for that type of birthday party goer or birthday party giver. Yes, it is Cristal, believe it or not. It is that slightly conservative friend that is very organized, does not make mistakes they, they everything goes by the book they arrive on time to, totally on schedule they do what they got to do they help out and they pack up and they leave and and they did not burden you in any way they actually helped you out that's crystal 
very to the point. And yes, T-Pal, it's emptying fast. You guys, I opened this up like two weeks ago, half a bottle already empty. I have been bathing. Why? Because I've been going through some stuff lately. And like I said, this is the organized perfume. This is the perfume that has a schedule. I know, schedule. I, we, we laugh here and we call it schedule. Um, it has a schedule. It has its plan. It sticks to it. It's organized. You know, that's the only way to survive nowadays. And this perfume has been helping me to survive. Literally. I've been literally like... What the heck, like two weeks and, and we'll go, we'll go. <laughs> Almost empty. So give it a month and this bottle is gone. There you go. That's that. Number 10. Okay. There is a douchebag at every party. The alpha male. The alpha female. The alpha in between. Whatever you want to call them. It's that person that everybody loves to hate, hates to love, but everybody would want to sit on. And yes, you know, you think to yourself, oh, this person, we haven't seen each other for years. Yes, darling. And we've been doing these birthday parties for ever so long. And they always, they always come to these events and they, oh, and why do they still look so good? Gosh, darn it. Yeah, you guessed it, Aish. It's, it's sauvage, or as they say, sausage. But it's the elixir. Because this person went there. It is that preppy alpha male. You know, it is that person. You know, they're going to have that freshly cut, the faded haircut, the mask for mask. They go to the gym. They're slightly toned. They have, they have the muscle tone. Everything is in place. They're going to smell clean. They're freshly washed. You know that down there, the bush is trimmed. They're going to wear the clean shoes. They're going to come in white sneakers. The white sneakers are not going to have one single stain on them. The pants are going to be just right. The butt is going to sit just right. There is no single wrinkle on those pants. Preppy, clean, smile on their face, super polite to everybody. You know, you just hate them, okay? But you would sit on them. But so that's... <laughs> <laughs> we'll go we'll go um you know what i there you go jesus says if you wanted to say something else about the haircut no <laughs> they went there says aisha i'm telling you oh yeah it's that person to a t now listen, I love Sauvage Elixir, okay? I love it. I love it. What can I tell you? I actually bought backs, backups of it because I heard that they're going to discontinue it. Then I heard that they're going to reformulate it. So I snatched up a couple bottles. Uh, and the, yeah, so this is the OG formula of Elixir. I love how it's like a little like, um, like an alcohol bottle, like a brandy or a cognac or a wine bottle, so the bottom of it has that indentation. It also means you get less liquid in there, but anyway. Still, it's a 60 mil. They did a 100 mil of this as well now, but that is exactly that person. You know, clean. Maybe he became a police officer, I don't know, a doctor. I, no, I don't know, fireman, I don't know. And is dating some chick and she's also like super bland and boring and clean and whatever, you know, but you, you just, you just see this clean preppy person and all you have is dirty thoughts. Thoughts and prayers, darling. Let me tell you, that birthday party, whoo, what a drag. So anyway, that's my top 10, um, I think, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, now those were my top ten. I hope you've enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts down below. Boy, this has been one heck of a birthday party, huh? What do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts about your favorite top ten perfumes for birthdays down below. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Until next time, never forget to never give up on love. Subscribe and thumb up the video. Bye.